Good morning, Tilda. Are we in the, in the garden having breakfast? I'm sniffing the flowers. No. Oh. Yeah, all right. A bit weird. <laughs> I think the garden had a nice watering last night. I can hear it raining. So, it's small, but it's very pretty, isn't it? Look at all that. Look at them. Lovely. All nice and fresh here today. Oh God, what are you doing up there, cat? You don't know how to get down now, do you, cat? Huh? You silly kitten. Oh God. You're doing your gymnastics. Yeah. And now on the bar, we have Tilda. Oh, look at that little leg shake. How very nimble you are. And now, how the buggery do you get down, eh? I don't know. We're at a bus stop, a bus stop, a bus stop. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pop to Cowbridge today, cause you know, why on earth not? It's a bit of a, an overcast day. Um, which is a shame we want no actually no it's good that the weather has been like that but i need the sunshine to come out because hopefully tomorrow maybe i'm gonna go and try and find some bioluminescent plankton so it needs to like charge up yeah anyways um yeah so we're gonna get on a bus to cowbridge i have come here stupidly early because i always kind of underestimate or overestimate sorry just how long it takes me to walk from the house to this bus stop and I'm like oh 10 minutes and I'm like no it takes two minutes for god's sakes but there we are it's a cowbridge so here in cowbridge I saved you the bus journey um as you can see it's it there's a they've been celebrating pride all the shops have got like balloons and rainbows and bunting and stuff which is quite nice um, I just stupidly bought um, a Pierre Cardin bag for four pounds from a charity shop. It's the one that, that it's, everything is very expensive. Um, and I didn't look at it properly and it, the leather is kind of cracked on it. But someone still might like it. I don't know. I'll show you guys later. Anyway, I'm off for coffee first and then we'll do some proper shopping, okay? No. The yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Nice iced Americano cream on the side. Right, time to do the charity shops. Big hat. And now we're in cat protection. Oh.
tools on that. And I kind of love those ones, but they're too small for me. Such a shame. Did you see the gorgeous amber cat? That was by Baccarat. Now I've got some Baccarat jewellery. I've got uh, a heart and a cross. The cross is up for sale in my shop, but the heart is mine. Um, but yeah, they wanted a hundred pounds for that cat. Hey. It's very pretty though. Anyways, next shot. Look at that lovely old trunk. That's how we done. Let's go. Whoa. We appear to be in the floor. How did that happen? That bus. That's what happened. Um, yeah. So it's nicely in the afternoon. The weather has picked up a bit. It's a nice bright day. I thought I might as well carry on. And um, seeing as the X2 bus is magical and it takes you to all these wondrous places. So what let's use the ticket. Go. Um, the table sale is on in the church. The charity shop, of course, isn't open, unfortunately. It wasn't open last time I came, was it? Anything good in the window? No. I know I'm not showing you guys right now, but... No, do you want to see? There's a big Mickey Mouse for a fiver. Burberry, it could be. Anyway, table sale. Right, let's see what we've got. However, I don't even think I've got cash on me, so even if I do find anything, I can't buy it. <laughs> Christmas cactus. <laughs> Again, shout if you see anything. Nice plates, birds on, books and things, teapots, two pounds. That's probably worth it. Ooh, yeah. See, man, found anything yet? We've got the reverse problem here. Oh well. Wow. Only a couple of times we've shown now. 
And now time for Emmaus, the last one. Anything groovy in the window? Moo hats. So many hats everywhere. Hats. nothing in a maze today but never mind time to go back home so say it with me there's no place like home <laughs> i can't do it heels together three times yeah whatever you get the picture yay it worked time for a haul Whew. managed to cool down a bit it was getting a bit warm there um after i um but also secretly on the way back I also stopped off in Bridgend and went to a couple of charity shops as well and I think I only bought one thing. No, three things. Yeah. Anyways, so I shall show you what I bought. My first purchase of the day is maybe not as good as I first thought it might have been because it is a bit worn. So it was £4 and it's this Pierre Cardin vintage bag. I don't think it's leather because it's doing that but then I don't know because that could be leather on material. So, I'm not sure, what do you think? But basically like the strap is all like cracked and stuff. And so is like a bit of the lining and things, but it, it's still like a pretty cool looking bag. And obviously what it has got for it is that it's got the big logo on the side there. So four pounds, I'm sure I'd still be able to make something on it. But there you go. Um. I'll save the other bags until later because they're very pretty. I got a mug for £1.50, you might have seen that. That's the nice Celtic Iona design. Um, nice condition and everything. Um, but yeah, it's a Dunoon one. They don't go for loads, but it's really lovely looking. It's got like all gold in it as well. Like, it's cool. It's all like Celtic animals and stuff. The Book of Kells. So, thought I'd have to get that. I also bought a barometer, a barometer. This was four ninety nine, the identical one, even with the same like that on the back of it, uh, sold on eBay for £25. So I don't know how you test whether a barometer works because you can't just go like high pressure, low pressure, I don't know. So maybe you just have to wait and then I don't know what that bit does. What is what does that do? I don't know. I don't know. I can't say I've ever really paid attention to barometers before, but whenever I've seen them in shops, like they've always been silly expensive or too expensive for me to really pick up and research. But I thought for a fiver, I'll give it a go. Seeing as when it's sold anyway. I picked up a folio book for a fiver, did a check off. Um, I just really like the cover of that one. I thought that was quite nice. Yeah, 4 99 I paid. It is immaculate condition and look they've got all like lovely 2006 this one lovely pictures because that's what you want when you read in a bit of Anton Chekhov is some lovely pictures isn't it 
um, but I should be able to get hopefully about 20-25 on that one, I hope. There were other folio ones, um, if you know Cowbridge at all, you know there is no phone reception anywhere, uh, it's a bit of a swine, they all protest about having like, um, you know, the masts up because you know it's a rural place and they're like, oh no, we don't, we don't, we don't do that. Um, but it means that the only place you can get reception is if you go to Costa and you log into their Wi-Fi. So I kind of stand outside and like go take pictures of stuff, come back to Costa, like quick, you know, eBay search, Google and things, then go back, oh, pick it up. But yeah, the other folio books, books, the Napoleon one might have been worth it, but I don't think his condition was great. And they wanted a tenner for that one and the return, like not too great. Um, there we go. I picked up some clothes. This needs a wash, but it is a vintage dress. Vintage 70s, 80s. Um, very kind of flouncy, but it has got like a wide skirt on it. Very wide, very, uh, very, very wide skirt. So um, it can kind of go to like the rockabilly crowd as well. It would be nice for a wedding once, you know, clean the stains off the front. That was three pounds. I spent a fiver on this, a coat, a jacket, but it, it is jewels, size 10 jewels, and I thought at some point the weather is going to turn, it'll catch people unawares because they don't have, you know, a rain jacket, a rain coat, and, um, and this would be nice for like end of summer to winter, end of summer to autumn, I mean, not winter, I'm not wishing that just yet, dear God. But it, it's in okay condition. It's not as black as black could be, so it's obviously been like worn and washed a couple of times. But that's okay. Nice enough pattern for ten pounds. I bought this jumper. It is by Crew Clothing Company in an extra large, but it is new with tags, and the original price was ninety pounds. Um, I've seen one is sold, I think it's an identical one, same size anyway, for £55. So for a tenner, like, I'm sure I'll be able to get that, like, later on in the year. Um, that is quite a nice pattern on that, I do like that. Speaking of patterns, I got this for £4, £4, yeah, £4. Yes, it's Liberty Print. And not only did I go, that must be a Liberty print, but thankfully also to verify it on the tag it says Liberty London. So that's pretty cool. So again, wedding season, somebody might want a snazzy waistcoat. And that is rather snazz. So that's cool. Bits of jewellery I bought just for 99p. I got some mono earrings for pierced ears. I thought they were quite nice, the gold tone is good on it. Um, these were $1.99 and they are silver hoops. They are not, I couldn't see a 925 stamp on them, but they feel like silver, they tested as silver. So, you know, if it walks like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it's silver. So there. Um, this, I just thought I'd buy it just to research it, RLM Soho, Robert something something, Robert something Morris, I think. Um, they seem to be quite pricey brand new. There doesn't seem to be too much of a resale market on it, but what does sell it is a lovely big bit, Babylone, which has got like um, probably glass on top of it. Um, but that's quite cool looking, isn't it? Quite striking. So that was £2.50. My little duds, unfortunately, were these earrings. They had gold posts on them, gold coloured posts. And in the shop, they look they look the right colour for nine carat gold. And I thought that I could maybe feel like a mark on them, but I tested them and they're not gold, unfortunately. They're pretty, but they're not gold. So never mind, that's a bit of a dud. Uh, right, handbags. Yep, handbags. So I got this one for six pound, an Anna Sui one. Now someone's got one, someone has got it listed, well, for 50 pounds, and they've got it as new without tags. But then I only looked briefly, 
I'm sure it says something in the description as like, oh, but it's got something sticky attached to it. Sorry, it moves. But anyway, I just thought that was really quite nice. And again, for like wedding season, I thought that would be cool. But the loveliest, the loveliest bag for a wedding. I did spend £20 on this, but it is beautiful. Vintage 1950s beaded bag, like a Kelly bag kind of thing. Absolutely immaculate condition. It says made in Hong Kong on the inside. That bit flips open. Look. Absolutely immaculate. So that's just been in someone's wardrobe for like 60, 70 years. Did I do the maths correct? But isn't that gorgeous? Again, for like a little rockabilly wedding. And because it's got perfect wedding colours in there. So we've got like the blues and pinks and peaches and yellows and stuff. Oh, absolutely lush, isn't it? So I would expect to get quite a big, big bit that back for that one because it is in such nice condition. I cannot see like a thing wrong with it at all. It is <laughs> gorgeous. And then my hilarious purchase of the day is, of course, a giant knitted octopus. Just because he was fun. And I was like, obviously I'm going to buy the giant knitted octopus for four pounds. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know if uh, like there's a resale market for them. What do you think? The octopus has spoken. So that's it. I'm going to have um, my low carb pizza now because I am quite hungry because I haven't eaten really all day. I've had like two snacks and that's it, but I haven't had proper food. So I made a low carb pizza with some chicken and some peppers and stuff. And I'm going to go and nom that and I've just seen that like Thrifty George is doing a live in a second. So I'm going to chill out and watch that. Mm. So yeah, bye-bye now, bye-bye. <laughs>